Hey, Mark. Good morning. Hey, Mark. How are you? Good morning. Good. Hey, I had a I had a trust question. Uh, my father passed away. I guess it's been six years ago now, and in the trust, he left a home out of state to us four children, mm-hmm. and we kept the home for uh, those years. And in the meantime, we had done a bunch of improvements to it. We were thinking about renting it out, and you know generating rental income to pay for all of its expenses, but that never really worked out. So uh, we ended up selling the property last this past year. Um, what are going to be the tax implications on that for our taxes this year, if any? Well, upon the sale, the property got a stepped-up cost basis on the date of your father's when he died. Okay. So you take you start with that value. You got a stepped up value. Even if he paid a hundred for it and it was worth five hundred when he died, you get the five hundred thousand cost basis as a starting point. And then you look at the gain from the date of death value as to the date of sale value, and there would be a capital gains tax applied to it. Okay. Does that subtract any improvements that were made to the property? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can subtract. Yes. Okay. And if we were to go to an accountant, uh, would that be handled? Because there's four people involved in this. How does that How does that work when there's so many involved in the trust? Is it split amongst the four, or how does that work? Well, did the property stay in the trust, or was it was a deed was it deeded out to the four of you as tenants in common? Um, it was, no, no, it was in the trust. The property was in the trust, and we were all uh, beneficiaries of the trust. All right, so the trust is going to sell the property then. Yes. Well, I think then the um, accountant probably has several choices on how to choose that, but one choice would be to let the trust pay the tax, the capital gains tax. Mm-hmm. And mo- probably all of the income passed through to to you guys from the trust. How did that work on the income? Was there income? Well, there, was, there really wasn't any income because, as it turns out, you know, the house got to be you know, it, was, it turned out where we put, you know, a, several thousand dollars in, like close to $50,000 in the property, which made it, you know, pretty decent. And uh, some people involved did not want to rent it because they didn't want other people in there and possibly, you know, tear up what they just spent all the money on to repair and fix up. Was so the, there really was. Yeah, did the accountant get a uh, tax number for the trust when your pa- father passed away? I don't know. We didn't, we didn't even do anything, honestly. All right. Well, the accountant will look at the whole situation and decide the best way for you guys to to pay the tax. It okay, could, but it, there will. Be. Yeah, there will be a capital gains tax from the date of death value to the date of sale value. Okay. And that and, might, that and that might be that he would choose to have the trust pay the tax, or it might through choose that he would pass through the uh, the, cap, the tax to you individually as they distribute the money. From the sale to you guys, uh, the accountant probably has a few choices there. I'll just look at it and make the best one for you, best decision for you. How do they base the uh, time of the death property value? Just go back and look at records, city record tax basis or what? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, the accountant will have a way to do that. But you can look okay. on the county records as to what the taxes were. And then there's usually a multiplier because the actual tax value is not always the current market value. Okay. Uh, there, there'll be real estate uh, records of sales of other properties in the area. There, there are multiple ways to come up with the value of the property. That this, I'm sure okay. the CPA will All choose right. the best one. All right. I really appreciate it. Thank you much. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye.